Hello everyone, how good? In today's video, I show you the process of creating this model. Today, we will see some techniques from creating this model from scratch. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what I would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class! Let's start by creating a plan to add our reference. Let's create a line. In thickness, we will put the value 34. In sides, we will use 24. We convert it to editable poly. In vertices mode, we will use the cuts contouring the cuts that exist in the part. We adjusted some vertices. Let's insert two loop without one and connect them with the vertices connected. With symmetry, we mirror the shape. Let's delete this face and also this entire middle part. I will add two support loops and adjust the vertices. With scale, we reduce the circles and adjust the vertices. I'm going to insert another loop. And with the edge constraint, we are going to rotate these points so that they follow the flow like this. We adjusted some parts according to the reference. At the top, I will use quick slice to create this loop following the shape of the reference. We adjust and delete the top edge. Here, adjusting some vertices to fit the shape with the reference. Now, let's select the entire loop and holding shift scale to create a new loop. Then, you adjust the edge according to the reference. Once this is done, with the cap, we will add a face to this part and with the vertices connected, we will connect the mesh points. My shortcut is Ctrl Shift E. We will insert a central loop and two more support loops to hold the curved shape of the model. I will select the center vertices Scale it a little and then adjust the vertices following the reference.
For the loops on the sides, we use the Alt 2 shortcut for the set flow commands. We do the same on the other sides. Now let's create in this front part, as we see in this reference. Let's select some face. We will add support loops at the base. Let's increase the distance between the edges using the edge constraint and scale. And adjust these vertices. We return to face mode and holding shift we extrude the face inward. We will add a support loop at the base. Here we see that the model is working well. We return to the face and we use the touch tools that face to create the other part that is connecting to the this part. We use the shell to add thickness. With the poly, we will raise the vertices a little and add two support loops. I'm also going to raise the base vertices a little. Returning to the model, we will create the bottle cap. We'll select this loop and extrude it upwards. Again, we use the touch to separate this part. With the Zs, we will better adjust its shapes. I will select the two front edges and create the contour on the part by holding shift and we will extrude the edge. Let's reduce the scale in this part and adjust the vertices a little more. With bridge, we create this new face. I will extrude this edge and use target weld to weld these points. With the cap, we close this face. With the bridge, we complete this shape. And finally, with the cap, we close this face. Now let's use the cut to connect the vertices. With symmetry, mirror the shape. Here, we will select all this face and with three legs, we will make the shape smoother. I will also select this face. I will use the loop regularizer to make sure that shape is circular. We will add a support loop in the regularizer loop again. Let's adjust some vertices to match the reference. I 
I'm going to add a support loop here and continue adjusting the piece. Let's add the modifier to smooth the mesh. We see that the model has circled a little. Let's adjust it so it's closer to the reference. Once that is done, let's create the stop detail. Let's select some face and use Detach with the clone turner on. Let's use the insert and then delete this face so that we only have the ones in the center. Now we adjust the size according to the reference. With the shell, we give thickness to the piece I will add the loop in the center and open some divide to soften the shape Again, in the shell, we add a little more thickness Returning to the model, we shift we scale and create new loops, and finally, we use collapse. We add two loops at the corner. Let's do the same at the top. Here, you see that the shape needs to be closer to the reference. In editable poly, we will turn on this option so that the modifier is visible and we will drag the vertices until it's matched the reference. This stage has been complete. Let's create a copy of this part of the model to create some details. Let's just keep this copy and let's create a line. Adjust the position and also the width and thickness. I will create some copies and join them now with Tetch. Let's increase the width so that it goes across our shape. With symmetry, we mirror the shape. I'm going to return the copy we created and I'm going to add a shell to give thickness so the details we're going to create. Now we add the boolean and intersect option and click on the lines. Here we see that everything was created correctly. 
I'm going to do now is creating a topology to improve the mesh of the details. Let's delete half and work it only with the part. Here the process is accelerated because it's with repetitive work. Let's select the side face of all the details and delete them. Let's do the same with the top and bottom face and the let then too. Now let's separate the front face with the touch. We will only work with them. Let's use the retopology to create a new mesh. I'm going to delete the central lines that he created in some details and adjust some edges that were wrong. Here I will select some edges and use this option to select to flow the select by skipping an edge. This will serve to reduce the number of edges on the model make it lighter. Let's also improve the top. Once this is done, we add symmetry again we adjust the small errors. I will add the shell for thickness in the chamfer to make the details soften. Returning to the bottle, we will create an extrude on this edge to mark the separation of these two parts. I'm going to select all of this face. To create a small extrusion. I'm going to take advantage and change the color of the details. And then separate this part of the model, so that they are in different mesh. We add the modifier again and change the color. Finally, we use FFD to move the details away from the edge a little. Just reducing the details was a whole. In ready, the model is finished. I hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, bye, subscribe to the channel, it's very important.